This is National Instruments USB 6009. On the one side of the device, we have analog input channels. We have eight analog input channels, and there's a ground available with a couple of a pair of analog input channels. We have analog input channels starting from AI0 to AI7. Then we have fixed voltage analog output supplies. We have two channels for them. Then we have fixed voltage supplies of 5 volt and 2.5 volts. Then we have a counter channel which is PFIO. After that, we have digital channels. So we have 12 digital channels which are divided among two ports P1 and P0. Against P0, we have 8 digital IO channels starting from P00 to P07. And for port 1, we have 4 analog. Uh, uh, four digital channels. So these are the differential channels which we can use if our voltage supply is referenced to each other. So this is the port using which we can connect this device with the computer system having a DAC software. So this is the cable. You just have to attach one side of the cable with this device and the other side of the cable to the computer system. So now we will connect our NI USB 6009 with the computer system. This is the power LED which indicates the status of the DAC card. So now we will connect the USB connector with the computer system which has already installed LabVIEW. So if this LED is blinking it means the software of this device is successfully installed and it's in working condition. So this is a screwdriver which comes with the device and we can use it to loose or tight the screws and connect the wires with this device. So before connecting any wires it is recommended to remove the device from the computer system. So now look at this ground channel which is on the rightmost side. When I type the screw what will happen the plate will move upward. It means we have to place the wire above the plate and then we have to tighten the screw. So you can see that I am placing the wire above the plate and then I will tighten the screw so that this wire can be tightly held inside this device so, and we have to connect the other side of this wire maybe with the sensor or the breadboard or uh, whatever we are using in combination with this device so this is a simple potentiometer which can be used to vary the voltage so we have three pins on this potentiometer so attach the VCC to the leftmost pin. This white wire is the output of this potentiometer and the black wire is the ground. When we rotate this potentiometer counterclockwise voltage will increase and in the clockwise direction the voltage will decrease. So now we will connect this potentiometer to our NI USB 6009. So we have to attach the black wire to the ground and red wire to the plus 5 volt fixed voltage output supply of the NI USB. Then we have to tighten the screws so that these wires can be strongly held inside the DAC device. And this is the output wire of the potentiometer we will insert it in analog input 1 of ni usb 6009 it means we are transferring a signal from the potentiometer into the ni usb 6009 and we will read that voltage output in our live view software so now we will open ni max which is the device manager for National Instruments DAC hardware and then we have to maximize this window and then go to the devices interfaces 
since no device is connected with the computer system so you cannot see any device So now we will connect this NI USB 6009 with our computer system and you can see that NI USB 6009 device 1 is appeared in the NI Max. And now we will rename this one to NI uh, sorry USB 6009 and click the yes button. So now we will close this window and open LabVIEW for programming. In the block diagram, we have to right click and go to the express category and select the input and then the DAC assist. After initializing, we have two categories either we can acquire the signal or we can generate the signal. So we have analog input, we have counter inputs, we have digital inputs, and in the generate signal, we have analog outputs, counter outputs, and digital outputs. So in this video we will go to acquire signal and then we will select the analog input category and click on the voltage. So these are the channels which are available. Since we connected the output of the potentiometer to the analog input 1 channel. So what we will do we will select analog input 1 channel and then click OK. So these are the different settings which we can do to acquire the signal first of all we will change the range from 0 to 5 terminal, uh, terminal configuration to RSC and acquisition mode to continuous samples and click OK So we have to click on this we have to click on yes button so that a loop a while loop can be attached to this task DAC assistant so now we will attach a waveform chart to view the output of the potentiometer first of all we will go to y scale and uncheck the auto scale y we will change the ranges from minus one to six of the y-axis and we will connect this waveform chart to the output of the DAC assistant. So now we will run the program. And when I rotate the potentiometer to the clockwise direction, what will happen? The voltage will reduce. And when I will rotate it back, what will happen? The voltage will be increased. So you can see that we can vary the voltage output of the potential and read it in live view using NIUSB 6009 analog input channel.